Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today we're going to be doing the ultimate glow up for 2023 within the new year. I want to kind of spice up my appearance and do some fun things to kind of make myself feel a little bit more confident and ready to take on the new year. In this video, we'll be doing my nails, we'll be doing some false eyelash extensions, doing a whole clothing haul, showing you guys my makeup routine, and a whole lot more. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to. Anyways, let's just get on into it. basically going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys my everyday kind of makeup routine and we're going to be trying out some new products. So I guess it's not my everyday makeup routine but I'm just going to be walking you guys through for what makeup look we're going to be doing today. We're looking a little rough right now but that's okay. This is a glow up video. One of my favorite YouTubers, Fernanda Ramirez, actually released her like base makeup routine on TikTok and I bought three products because of her. So many people were hyping up these products in the comments and then also if you've ever watched one of her videos, her base makeup looks so good. We have this milk primer and then we also have the charlotte tilbury flawless filter and i guess she uses this under the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i got like mini sizes because i don't know if i'm gonna like these products or not and i didn't want to waste my money in case if they don't work for my skin type but we're gonna start off with the milk hydro and we're just gonna put this all around now we're gonna go in with the flawless filter like a really light foundation with like highlighter in it or something because it's really illuminating we're gonna go on top of this with the luminous silk foundation and this is my staple which is the it cosmetics your skin but better if you have like problem like acne skin this stuff covers it so well but we're gonna be trying out a new one today <laughs> makeup honestly it looks pretty good except for the fact that I have these dry patches currently for my dry skin which I don't know why because my skin is normally so oily first off I like to do my eyeliner and I like to take a dark brow pencil this one I just got in a PR package from lawless beauty and then just soften it out I don't know it just gives off like a little bit more of a natural look now we're gonna do my eyebrows I like to use the ColourPop brow pencil I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel for my eye glitter, I like to use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the middle of my corners and then the e.l.f. Disco Queen on top here. I like to put it like up above my crease. I first like to go in with the Full and Soft Mascara by Maybelline. Then I go in with the Telescopic Mascara on top. I get the waterproof version of this and this stuff makes your eyelashes so long and also keeps them up all day. Here's what it looks like on my bottom lashes and then we're going to put it on top. Then we're going to go in with the Telescopic on top. Here it is with and here it is without. As you guys can see, they just look a lot longer. Like, I don't know if you can tell a difference. This is the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Pink. I feel like it's the perfect color. And then I like to go on top with this ColourPop lip stain. And then I like to use the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. Here's what the makeup is looking like. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed. I honestly love Fernanda so much. And if you don't know who Fernanda Ramirez is, you probably do. But if you haven't, highly recommend go checking out her channel. I literally love her content. And once again, her makeup always looks flawless. As you guys can see, here's a little outfit of the day. Everything is from Princess Polly. I've been loving this sweater recently. I feel like it's so fun I don't know. and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit okay guys we're gonna start off this glow up video strong with a clothing haul these are all gonna be winter pieces from Princess Polly and I also want to say thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring this video I have some new year new pieces new clothes to show you guys I also want to quickly mention that Princess Polly ships from within the United States and offers free standard shipping to the US on orders over $50 along offering shop pay and after pay to all US customers and if you guys want to order anything off the Princess Polly website like some of the stuff I mentioned in this haul. Make sure you use my code Caitlin20 on the screen right now for money off your purchase. Anyways, let's get on into it. First off, we have this bag. This is probably one of my favorite pieces in this haul, and I've been wanting a bag like this for the longest time. It's like a nylon, like smooth material, and then also it has this strap so you can wear it on your shoulder like this, and then you can also adjust it and make it like a crossbody bag. And this sweater I'm actually wearing, as I mentioned, is from Princess Polly. I got it in this haul, and I'm honestly obsessed with the color, and I just love the cutout like pieces. I've 
feel like it's so different and so fun. I don't have anything like this and I just feel like this is such a fun piece. Next up, I got this jacket I'm so excited about. It's this beautiful faux leather jacket with like these two pockets on the front. You guys know I have something similar to this, but it's not the best quality. So I decided to upgrade to a really nice one from Princess Polly. There's even some snaps on the sleeves right here and I just love all the detailing on the back and on the front. I feel like it gives off like a kind of like vintage motorcycle like button up jacket and I just love how this looks. I feel like having one of these types of jackets is like the ultimate staple piece. Everyone needs a jacket like this. Next up, I got this pair of jeans. These are more of a darker wash, which I actually don't have anything like this. These are like super ultra wide leg and here's what the back looks like. Just super nice. I really, really like the wash on this. I think it's so different for me. I only wear light wash jeans, but I want to start wearing dark wash jeans like this and I just think they look so good on. The amount of mini skirts I have from Princess Polly are insane, but I decided to get this long cargo skirt. It's also one of those parachute cargo skirts, which I've seen all over TikTok and Pinterest. It has like really cool detailing on the front here and it's got like pockets on the sides. An oversized sweater on top would look so cute with this. I also think this is just like such a staple piece that's also really trendy at the moment now too. I feel like you're gonna see a lot more of these skirts in 2023. So I'm really, really excited about this. Then I got some accessories. First off, I got these sunglasses and these sunglasses are so cool. They're like the curve edge ones. I know they have them in multiple colors on their website, but I decided to get the black ones just because I feel like they're gonna match the easiest with everything. I've seen this trend of headbands pretty much everywhere now and I decided to get two of them from Princess Polly. The first one is like a really fuzzy material. I feel like this gives off like the perfect soft girl like Pinterest vibes. I just feel like it's so cute. It like spices up your outfit and I feel like this would look really cute on the go with like your puffer jacket. This one's a little bit different. I got like this pearl headband. This is so elegant looking. I feel like this would look really cute with like a nice white sweater and like a mini skirt. I also love the look of pearls. I have so much pearl like jewelry and earrings and stuff like that. So I feel like this would match with literally everything in my closet. Next up, I got like an essential basic. This is like a really pretty beige sweater and it has like puffed out sleeves, which I think is so cute. And I feel like this is just the perfect like everyday winter piece that anyone can wear. The fabric is so thick and I know it's definitely gonna keep me warm within these cold winter months. And then lastly, I decided to get a long sleeve. This long sleeve is made out of that like really nice nylon material. I feel like this would be good on its own, but I know I could also wear this under like sweaters and stuff to keep me warm because it's like that insulated kind of layer. Almost like that warm tech kind of stuff. I don't know. I feel like this is really good for layering, especially within the winter. And then the last thing I got is this really cute necklace. As you guys can see, it's like a cross and it has a really pretty crystal in the middle. And I just feel like this is the perfect length and also the perfect size to like add and spice up your outfits. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these new pieces and I'm so excited to style these pieces in 2023. I feel like getting a wardrobe refresh is perfect along with glowing up and getting ready for the new year. And once again, if you guys want to buy anything off Princess Polly or anything that I mentioned, please use my discount code Caitlin20 to save money off your purchase. The links to everything will be in the description box as well. And now let's get on to the next thing. Okay guys, the next thing that we're going to be doing in this video is my acrylics. I like to do my own nails at home. I don't know if you guys know that. I tried growing out my nails and getting them healthy again just because they were getting really bad, but I definitely want to put on some new nails today. I feel like that's the ultimate part about a glow up for me is always having my nails done. There's something about it where it's just like I feel so put together and on top of the world once I have acrylics on and I've learned to do them at home and I kind of want to give you guys a quick tutorial. Nothing too long just because I do want to do an in-depth tutorial and dedicate a whole entire video explaining literally every single thing to you guys. I just brought out my huge box of nail stuff as you guys can see. And I like to cover my desk space with like a paper towel just because it does get a little bit messy. I use this electric nail file from Melody Susie. I literally just got this on Amazon but it's basically one of these things and you put the file tip on the top and it just gets that natural shine off your nails and then I use this glue off Amazon this is the KDS nail tip glue this stuff works wonders and last but not least these are the nail tips I use I just got them off Amazon so what I'm gonna do is file down my nails with the electric file and then also these files as well <laughs> can see. 
see I have like nail tips on and we're ready to do the acrylic. Also, please ignore the fact that I didn't put one on this nail. I cut this nail too short, so I'm just ignoring it for right now until it grows out a little bit more. Here's the powder that I use. This is the Mia Secret powder and I got this off Amazon. You can get like different colors, but I prefer the clear, especially since I do like nail design and nail art. I find that getting the same exact brand for the monomer and the acrylic powder works the best. And then I also use this brush. I keep it in the same packet it came in. I found this off Amazon. Everything's literally from Amazon. And then I also got these little glasses from Amazon. Comes with like a little lid. Oh, and then one last thing I got from Mia Secret. I got this extra bond like acrylic primer. I'm basically gonna put this on my natural nail and let's start putting on the acrylic. just put on all of the acrylic and now we're gonna do some fun designs this is kind of my inspiration as of right now I It's actually the next day or the next morning and as you guys can see the weather's a whole lot better today It was just not sunny yesterday So I want to start off this day by kind of doing a self-care morning routine Which I've never done before so I'm basically going to do like a night routine But in the morning one thing I really want to do is actually take a really nice bath with like a bath bomb and like watch my TV show I never really start off my day so slow and relaxing, but I feel like it'd be kind of good for me I've been like really busy and productive this week. So I just kind of want to like take a slow like chill day honestly and then one thing i totally forgot to do yesterday when showing you guys my new makeup routine was to put on these false lashes i actually got they're like false lash extensions so i think we're gonna try them out today but let's start off with the bath Once I finish this bath, I plan to shower, exfoliate, and do all of that stuff so I can self-tan. I like always have to shower after. I don't know if like anyone else is like that, but this looks really relaxing. I'm super excited. I'm gonna watch my show. I'm in the middle of watching the Ginny and Georgia like show on Netflix. I'm on season two right now. It's been like literally one day and I'm already more than halfway through it. I think I'm on episode seven already. It just hooks you in, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, before we start my makeup today, I want to try out these Revlon face shavers. They're supposed to remove like your peach fuzz. I mainly want to use it around here. It's all blonde, you can't see it as well, but once I put on makeup and powder, it gets a little bit more obvious. It's definitely working, but I think I also want to quickly pluck my eyebrows. I'm like looking at myself in this mirror and I realized it's long overdue since I've plucked them. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to go put on some moisturizer real quick. Okay guys, I look a little weird just because I have only my bottom lashes on and not my top lashes because I want to try out this PR package I got, literally not sponsored, but Kiss sent over some false lashes. I think I'm going to use the Bambi Wisps and then the accent ones because I really want to get that like spiky kind of look. They sent over this kit as well and it comes with the tweezers and then the special like pen. It has a bonding side and then a seal side. And then they also sent over this pen which is like an overnighter which is supposed to make them last even longer. And then they also sent over the special remover to get this off. I think we're first going to start off with the Bambi ones because these are the most natural ones that they sent me. In the main kit with the pen, it also came with these lashes that I might actually use as well. So you can see that there's sizes on the side here. So I think I'm going to do small, medium, large, medium. The bond is on and now we're going to put on the lashes. Does that look good? I can't even tell. Okay, my camera died, but this is what they look like, the eyelash extensions. I put the Bond stuff on, and then I also did the overnight stuff just to kind of seal everything in as of right now because they kept like feeling weird on my eyes. It'll be really, really interesting later tonight to try to get them off because I'm gonna try not to, but it'll just be interesting to see if maybe some of them pop off or not. But I think I did a pretty good job making them kind of natural. I honestly, like I look at myself and I don't even realize I have them on. I think they look good, but I just feel like they're not super drastic. But I also just don't mind that because I didn't really want them to be super drastic thick. Anyways, if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, I'm just wearing this cute little sweater and these leggings. This sweater is from the Princess Polly haul that I did yesterday. It's so comfy. I just love it so much. But I think we're gonna head to the car. I could go for a coffee right now and I'm gonna bring you guys along. <laughs>
Okay guys, I just got my Starbucks coffee. I got a pistachio latte. So far it's been my favorite recently, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was really, really fun to film. I love doing stuff like this, and I just thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.